<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you in this very long requested tutorial how you can convert your regular jailbroken PS3 over to a DEX system. So we're going to be going from KEX or CEX to DEX or DEX in this case. I'm probably going to be using those terms interchangeably here, but this is going to allow you to have the benefits of a debug or developer system, such as being able to connect this up to your PC and do real-time modding, real-time editing and such, and so much more. Some of it is very front-facing and other stuff is really going to be in the background and nested into the firmware itself where you get those extra little benefits. So generally people seem to like DEX more and this is just going to show you all how you can convert it over easily enough. So first of all, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your PS3, but not just a PS3. You're going to need a jailbroken console. If you don't know how to jailbreak your system or you're interested in it or you just really want to know how to do that, I have tutorials linked in the description showing you how to jailbreak a PS3, so I'd recommend following along with that. This tutorial is going to assume you have at least the fundamental basic understanding of how to navigate a jailbroken PS3. Once you have your PS3 in front of you and jailbroken, you're also going to need a PC to download a few firmware files, and we're also going to need a flash drive to transfer everything to and from the PS3. So without further ado, let's go ahead, go over to our PC, and I'm going to show you all what we will need to begin this process. Once you're over at your PC, go to the link down below in the description to the official Rebug website. This is rebug.me and I would recommend downloading the latest version of Rebug. There's not really a reason to use any of the older firmwares unless you have a specific reason you need to stay on them, but generally just use the latest one available. So the one I'm going to be getting here will be Rebug 4.81 Rex D-Rex. So once you click on this, it's going to take you to this page here, and there's going to be a ton of information available on this. I mean, just look at how long this page is. Now, the basic things you're going to need to know are Rex is going to be for a CEX system, which is what we're currently on, and DREX is going to be for a DEX system, which is what we are converting to. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install Rebug. So we need to install Rebug Rex if you're on any other custom firmware. So if you followed my latest jailbreak tutorial, I do recommend installing Rebug Rex. But if you did not follow that and you followed along with another tutorial or you installed another firmware, that's totally fine. What I'd recommend, again, find the firmware here, the latest one, go all the way down to the bottom, and I would recommend downloading both firmwares. So download Rebug, the latest version, get the Rex edition, and then also get Rebug, the latest version, D-Rex. You want to download the both of them because we are going to need both. Do not download any version that says light. Make sure you're getting the full versions. So get Rex and D-Rex. Once you have the two files downloaded and situated, just make sure you can differentiate them. So Rex, again, that's going to be retail, which is what we are assuming you're on and DREX is going to be the debug version. So first of all, if you're on another firmware or you just want to update, make sure you copy over the REX firmware. Make sure your flash drive is formatted to FAT32 and then go into create this folder if it's not here, but create a PS3 folder, update, and paste the REX firmware file in here. Once that's been placed in there, you want to rename it to ps 3 updatpup so that's exactly what it is. And from here, again, this is assuming you do not have this firmware or you need to update to it. You can just go back and eject your flash drive and now pop your flash drive into your PS3. When you're over at your PS3, just navigate all the way over to your system update after you have popped the flash drive into your system. Go down to update via storage media and right there, Rebug will show up. Now, I have already installed this, so I'm not going to go through the process of it, but installing this firmware is as easily as pressing OK and accepting the terms of service here and then pressing Start. And that's all you really need to do for this. However, since we are on this firmware, I'm not going to be doing that. And this is a fresh install of everything. So once you have your Rebug Rex installed on here, what you'll need to do is go over to Game, Package Manager, 
install package files, PS3 system storage, and install the only package which should be here, which is Rebug Toolbox. Once that is installed, open up your Rebug Toolbox. Once Rebug Toolbox opens, go into Information System. And here it's going to tell you what type of system you have. So my LV2 kernel and my target type are both CEX, which is what we want to change. So let's go ahead and get to changing everything here. You can press back. Now go over to Utilities and toggle QA flag. It'd be recommended to enable this. So just change that to enabled. Next up, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to dump EID root key. Press X on here, and it's going to ask if you want to dump your root key and reboot. Say yes, and wait for your console to reboot. Once your console restarts, just go over to game and rebug toolbox yet again. Navigate over to dex CEX, and click X here on rewrite target ID in flash. And here it's going to say found EID root key. Do you want automatic conversion? You want to say yes to this. Now one heads up, if you do not get this message here, all you need to do is dump your root key again. The first time it might not work. This actually didn't work for me the first time. So I just had to restart my system and do it again. But make sure you have your EID root key dumped over. So once you have that, you should be able to press X here. You'll want to say yes to this prompt. And once that's done, go to swap LV2 kernel and press X. And it will now say your kernel successfully changed to dex debug. And system restart is required. Press OK to reboot. Once your console has rebooted, the most noticeable change should be in the bottom right hand corner. You should have connected from, host name, and IP address showing up. That means that you have a DEX or debug system at this point. So congratulations. But what we can do to verify this is go into Rebug Toolbox yet again. And when you're in here, click on System Information or information system, and it should now say LV2 and target type are both DEX. Now there is one more step you can take. You've technically converted your system over, but I would recommend updating the full firmware. So with that being said, let's go ahead, exit out of here, and go back over to our PC. When you're at your PC, plug your flash drive back in and delete the update that we just flashed over. Now you want to get your DREX update, copy this, and paste it into your PS3 update folder. Now keep in mind at this point, unless you convert your system back over, and you can totally do that if you want to, but unless you convert it over, you now have a DEX or debug system. That means you cannot flash over regular CEX firmwares. From here on out, unless you change back manually, you have to flash DEX firmwares. So just stick to DREX whenever updates come out for rebug, and you should be good to go. So now for this, all you need to do is again, copy over DREX and then rename this to PS3 updat and that's it. Now with that being all changed, you can just right click and eject your flash drive and then pop that back into your PS3. Now with the flash drive back in the PS3, navigate over to system update, go to update via storage media and you should see this here, 4.8, 4.1, depending on what you have here. Press X. And it's now going to copy this over, reboot your system, install the firmware, and reboot again. Now the main goal here is just to flash over your system to a proper DEX firmware. That would be my recommendation at least. It just takes another few minutes to do, but just let this do its thing. So now once your PS3 restarts, just wait, and as you can see right here, it goes back over to the X and B, and check it out again in the bottom corner. You now have connected from host name and IP address. So that means at this point again, we have a converted and flashed DEX system. Congratulations, you now have performed the CEX to DEX conversion on your PS3, so have fun with that. Again, just as a heads up, whenever you are from here on out updating your custom firmware, unless you have consciously gone into rebug and changed everything back to a CEX system, you are going to need to flash over a DEX firmware. So really just stick to rebug and stick to the DREX updates and you should be good to go. 
Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.